synthetic wigs is a little bit different than styling your own biological hair because we do have to use certain products that won't harm or damage synthetic fibers. But that doesn't mean that we can't still get big, beautiful volume and texture but using synthetic wig safe products. Today I'm gonna to show you how I style my synthetic wigs with volume and texture. Let's go. Hi, welcome to The Wiggy Woman, where I give you wig and hair topper reviews and tutorials to help you have the easiest path forward on your hair loss journey. Today, I'm going to be taking you through how I style my wigs, especially my short ones, with a lot of volume and texture. So you can't use a traditional hairspray on a um, synthetic wig like this one. Um, I tend to reach for a product called Wig Wax, and this is a spray on kind of like a peace out cream, um, but it's in a spray form, which makes it super duper easy to apply in a very thin layer that won't weigh down your hair and gives you this really beautiful volume and dimension. So let's go style some synthetic wigs. So this is New Wave from Tressalore Wigs, and she is one of my favorites. This is a fun, playful style that has no permatease, which means that we are going to have to give her some volume when we're styling the synthetic wig instead of the synthetic wig's cat construction. So today what I'm gonna do is I am going to give these bangs a little bit more definition. Now these are straight out of the box. I haven't had this wig trimmed to fit my facial features, um, but I'm also going to give it a little bit of lift up here so I can give her a little bit more volume for a fun, playful look. And then I am going to texturize these beachy waves. As I did with the sleek and straight style, I'm gonna be using the same product. So I have a John Renault wide tooth comb and a wig wax. This is going to work kind of like a synthetic wig hairspray um, because regular hairspray is actually not safe for synthetic wigs, but this is going to give us a very similar effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to very gently detangle and comb through this synthetic wig. Now, normally with a wavy or a curly synthetic wig, I try and comb them as little as possible. Um, but today, I'm just gonna move this back because these bangs have not been trimmed. Um, but today I am going to, you know, kind of generously comb them because we're going to be adding a lot of texture anyway. So I'm not really worried about those curls falling out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to kind of piece out these bangs. So I'm gonna give my wig wax a shake and I'm gonna hit it on my bangs. Since I'm kind of struggling with these bangs not being trimmed, um, a quick fix for that, or if you just like to have more volume in your bangs anyways, is I am going to kind of round it up over my fingers. Like you can see how well that wig wax, <laughs> wig wax works. Um, and then I am going to feather it out from there. So it kind of gives these bangs a little bit more uh, poof, a little bit more definition and a little bit more height. So it's up off of my face. Uh, next, I'm gonna come in at the roots here and I'm gonna do the same thing, shake, and I'm gonna spray along those roots. You can also, if you prefer, you can also tip your wig upside down and shake it and spray. Um, I like to do it on so I can really see. And I am going to fluff her out. So I'm really going to give her some fun, edgy volume and really mostly to like demonstrate what you can get. So now I want some of these beachy waves to be a little bit more textured. And I'm going to just give it a scrunch. And don't just do the bottom. At least this particular wig has these waves all over in this like layered bob here. And boom, kind of fluff her out a little bit. So here is my textured waves and here is the waves before. So before and after. 
you'll see like so much more super fun, super duper playful definition. Gonna do the other side. So again, this is just gonna work kind of like a wig safe hairspray. And it feels a little sticky at first on your hands because it is wet, but it dries really, really quickly. So this is really great if you have the like kind of short styles like unfiltered, where you just want it to be like kind of fun and kind of crazy. This is gonna help get you there when your wig doesn't have any permatease to kind of give it that automatic lift. Kind of pop this up a little bit more. And there you go. I got my fun. Give it a little shake just to break things up. There you go. This is my super textured, fun, feathered bob. This is New Wave from Tressalore. She's got a lot more fun and volume in these layers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if so, please, please, please hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you wanna see more content on how to style synthetic wigs. And of course, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a wig review or tutorial that's posted weekly. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.